Well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Now for today's video I have such an exciting one because we are going to be reviewing the latest release from XX Revolution. As you can see right here I have a huge pile of these mini eyeshadow palettes that they released literally I think it was Thursday or Friday. It came the next day and I'm here to put this up. It's why I interrupted Colourpop Week because I'm wanting to get this up. ASAP they have released not one, not two, but eight of these mini eyeshadow palettes. And I wanted to do a video um, like what I've done before. I'm going to um, show you all the palettes, swatch them all, and then I'm going to do an eye look incorporating all of the palettes rather than just doing separate rev reviews on each palette. I'm going to be reviewing all of them in this one video. So this means this video is going to be a little bit longer. But because I'm reviewing them all today, that is why. But of course, if you would like me to do any separate tutorials on any of the particular palettes, then you just got to let me know and I'll be sure to do that for you. So if you'd like to see what I think of these new XX Revolution Flex palettes, then please keep watching. Right. Let's get into today's video. So we have eight of these little palettes. They're actually bigger than I thought they were going to be these are actually only eight pounds each and for xx revolution that's actually really affordable because their quads cost 10 pounds each so when I saw that these had six pounds in them I thought they were going to be like 10 12 pounds but no eight pounds each so this first one I've got here is the palette needy all of them have this like croc skin look to them and then this one you can't tell but it does have like xx revolution like engraved into the packaging and this is what the palette needy looks like. So they are all six pans and the pans are actually really big. Like if I just compare it to my finger now, they're actually so much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I'm really impressed with the price mark of these. Um, so this is what the palette needy looks like. This one has two mattes and four shimmers. The other nude one in the collection is called Heartless. And this one's in similar packaging to the previous one. You can see the XX Revolution a little bit clearer there. And this is what the palette Heartless looks like. So a little bit more darker neutral than the previous one this one again has two mattes and four shimmers i don't like they're very shimmer heavy i would rather have like three mattes and three shimmers but what can you do the first colorful one i've pulled out here is the shade britney which is so iconic i love that they've called it britney and this one has like neon pink packaging and the inside looks like this. And this one, again, two mattes down the side here and four shimmers. This one kind of looks like a matte, but it does have a little bit of shine running through them. How stunning is that? I love pink, so that is my favorite one. The next one is called Billy, which is pretty cool as well. Very iconic. Um, and this is what the green one looks like. Very neon again, and you can definitely see the embossing there a little bit better. And this one actually has three mattes inside but as you can see one of the mattes is like a white so in my eyes it only really has two mattes and then three shimmers this one looks pretty cool actually um but i'm just really impressed i mean they are a little bit on the thick side but they do feel really good quality for eight pounds i was honestly so shocked at the price point like very good for xx revolution considering all their stuff is super expensive this next one in the white packaging is called hard rock and this one just has the white croc print and this one's a little bit more of a cool toned palette i'd say this is what it looks like um and it has one matte here and one matte here and then the other four are shimmers so again these are shimmer heavy which i have been complaining about this for weeks um and i just hate that they bring out palettes that have just so many shimmers in it i just don't like it or oh, the packaging is cool for these ones so this one is called sugar baby this is my favorite packaging look at this sorry if the lighting goes a bit crap but it's like a pink 
purpley iridescent oh my god it's just so stunning and this is the color story of sugar baby this is a purple palette and we have two purples here and then the other four are shimmers of course they had to launch a blue palette in the collection and this one is called fallen angel love that name and this one's a little bit disappointing because there's two mattes in here but one of them is like a blue and then the other one is like the most faintest pastel blue ever so really you'd only use the matte blue in here you wouldn't use this color like i don't that would not work to blend this out um and again four shimmers but there is a couple of icy more shades in this palette and then lastly they have brought out a palette called dynamite this has similar packaging to sugar baby it's like a green to orangey reflect like oh my god it is just so sick i love it um and this one is like an orangey warm toned palette um this one is the most disappointing out of all of them because it only only because <laughs> it only has the one matte in here it's an orange matte and all the rest are completely shimmer so. so that is a rundown of all the palettes what they look like how much they are we are going to go ahead now and swatch every single one of these because i want you to see what all of the shades look like in them so let's get into it so this is the palette needy and the shades actually feel really nice the shimmers in here are really soft and swatch really pigmented and the mattes i haven't even built any of these shades up so I am very impressed with this first palette. This is the palette Heartless and again shimmers feel unreal and the mattes are super pigmented. This is the palette Brittany and again shimmers didn't disappoint. They did feel a little bit hardly pressed in the pan but I mean so pigmented and reflective. I'm super impressed with the pigmentation again. This is the palette Hard Rock. A little bit hardly pressed um, compared to the other ones. This one was a little bit disappointing. It looks super dark in the pan, but it's like a dark... Sorry, just not the camera. It's a dark shade with like shimmer running through it. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, not my favourite one so far. This is the Billy palette. So the greens in here are really nice. I love this green shimmer in here. White's actually pretty pigmented as well. Um, I just probably wouldn't use the white so for me it's a little bit wasted in this palette this is the palette sugar baby very impressed with this one the mattes are really pigmented and so are the shimmers so yeah i really like this one this is the palette fallen angel and another disappointing one to be honest like don't get me wrong shades are really nicely pigmented but these two icy shades are literally identical they look exactly the same to me so i just feel like that's wasted like why couldn't they just put another actual blue matte in here because this one is borderline white um see so yeah, i'm not biggest fan of the color story of this one and this is the last palette dynamite like don't get me wrong these shimmers are absolutely stunning and i love them there's only one matte in here though and i feel like we've had like these shades in the different palettes already so i feel like they could have probably swapped one of these out for like another peachy coral shade or something it's just very shimmer heavy for me so those are all the swatches of the palettes let's get into the eye. okay so the exciting part where we actually get to test out these eyeshadows so firstly i have primed my eyelids with of course my favorite the revolution ultimate eye base and also sorry forgot to mention that every single one of these eyeshadow palettes all eight of them are cruelty free and vegan so firstly we are going to take the dynamite palette and i'm going to take the only matte in here which is that orange shade so I am just going to add a tiny bit of this to the very, very start of my eyelid like this. I'm going to do this eye completely different to this eye. So we, I just want to make sure I can use as many shades as possible in this look. So I'm going to do one eye, one look, one eye the other. Next, I'm going to take the Britney palette and I'm going to take this lower... Um, row pink here there is a little bit of kickback with these but i mean seem to be pigmented and then next i'm going to take sugar baby and i'm going to take this purple down here and i'm going to add this to the outer corner Okay, we're now going to move on to this eye and I'm firstly going to take the Heartless palette and I'm going to lightly take this neutral here. It is quite an orangey toned 
neutral. I'm just going to take a tiny amount and do the exact same that I did with this orange. And then I'm going to go in with the Billy palette and I'm going to take this green here. And then lastly for this lid, I'm going to go in with the Fallen Angel palette and I'm going to take this blue here. Now I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to, you know, lightly blend the top edges. I feel like a clean fluffy blending brush makes such a difference, especially with these types of look when you're trying to blend like three different colours. Okay, so these are my half cut creases and I feel like these types of looks look so much better when you have a half cut crease on because it kind of just like brings it all together and makes it look a little bit more blended and stuff. So for this side, I am going to jump into the Heartless palette, this one, one of the neutral ones, and I'm going to grab this beautiful gold shade here. For the shimmer on the other lid, I'm going to try the Hard Rock palette. There isn't really any other like proper light shimmers that would go really nicely on the lid. I was going to try and find a cool tone one, and the one that I could kind of use maybe one of these two let's go with that one okay we're gonna try this one in the middle i'm running into my first issue so with this shimmer um it looks really beautiful and reflective but it's so hardly pressed so i've had to scratch some off and then apply but even still it's not it's not working the best like this shimmer was so smooth and easy this one is proving a little bit difficult i wasn't going to go in this palette but i am going to go in with the fallen angel palette and take this bright icy shade here to put on top i'm not very happy with this look and i didn't want to use this because i know i'm going back in with it for this shade and i was going to save that for my inner corner and brow bone but honestly this is just not working and none of the other shimmers in any of the other palettes is like an, a cool toned bright enough lid shade this is the end result definitely made it a little bit more than what i wanted so we've got warm tones on one side and cool tones on the other so to blend out this gold here into the purple i'm going to go back in with the sugar baby palette and i'm going to take this purple shimmer here which is definitely different to like this shimmer this one has more of that same formula as this shade whereas this one's more of a normal shimmer then for this side i'm going to go back in with fallen angel and i'm going to take same sort of formula but this blue shade here Okay, so I just went off of camera. I finished blending out some of this because some of the colour had got lost. So I re rebuilt that back up. I've also added a winged liner on both eyes. I just feel like it brings the looks together a little bit better. They're definitely not even, so don't come for me. So now we're going to just go to the lower lash line. So on this side, we're going to use the more warm toned palette, which is the Needy palette. And to be honest with you, both these mattes look quite similar, but I'm going to go ahead with this one. And then for this side, I'm going to go in with the Hard Rock palette and I'm going to take this matte shade here. And then for both sides, I'm going to go back in with the Fallen Angel palette and I'm going to take that same um, icy shimmer that I used on this lid. Okay guys, so these are both of the eye looks complete. We have the warm tone side and we have the cool tone side. Definitely let me know down below which one that you prefer. I'm just going to hop off camera. I'm going to put some lashes, mascara and some lipstick on and I'll be right back and we can discuss my final thoughts. Right guys, so I'm back and this is my completed look. So for my lashes, I of course use my favourite. I use my um, Roxy and Revolution lashes. I thought we're in the Revolution family so we might as well 
use one of their brand's lashes. My winged eyeliner and mascara are both by Relove Revolution. I did recently do a whole video testing that brand, so I'll leave that link down below. Um, but I absolutely love this eyeliner. This is the Slick Flick uh, Liquid Pen Eyeliner. And then I used the Power Lash Volume Mascara. Again, £3 for this, and it's so, so good. So definitely recommend you check out that video if you haven't already. And my lips is a Morphe lipstick. This is a cream lipstick in the shade Frevs. These cream lipsticks are literally so creamy. They almost like melt on your lips, but they give you that really nice shine. Um, so this is my completed look. So let's sit down and finally talk about these Flex eyeshadow palettes. So firstly, the packaging is amazing. I love this crop print. It's very in at the moment. The thickness, a little bit thick, but to be honest with you, that does not bother me. They are a really nice size. They're not too big. They're not too small. I honestly expected these to be absolutely tiny. Um, so I love everything about it. I love that there's six shades. You get a nice sturdy packaging. 10 out of 10. Love that. The price point is amazing considering this is xx revolution i think eight pounds is an absolute bargain for how good quality and sturdy these palettes feel i love that the pans are not tiny like the makeup obsession five pound palettes the palettes are literally the size of my finger now whereas these are much bigger so i'm very happy with the packaging and the price point what i don't like about these palettes straight off the bat is that the fact that there are so many shimmers in them and i feel like i'm repeating myself because every single revolution release that comes out recently the palettes seem to have so many more shimmers than mattes and especially with these palettes here because there's only six pans in them if there's like four shimmers, you notice it so much more than if it was in a bigger palette because when you look at them, you can only use like one or two shades to put shades on your lid and then the rest are shimmers. Don't get me wrong, the shimmers are absolutely beautiful and they do swatch amazing. I did struggle with a couple, but we'll get to that. The fact that there's only one or two mattes in each palette that you could actually play with on your lids, that's what disappoints me about these palettes and I just wish there was at least three mattes, three shimmers in each palette so you could play with as much as possible now what i will say the mattes in the palettes are really nicely pigmented i don't know if it's just because i was using you know loads of different mattes but eventually i did have to go back over and bring back the pigmentation because as i was blending and blending and blending the shade underneath was going away so i did have to top them up but they are really nicely pigmented the shimmers i have a little bit of a mixed bag of reviews on so this gold one here absolutely stunning went on so effortlessly really pigmented it didn't need to wet it and you have this really stunning metallic finish and i think it looks absolutely beautiful when i used the first shimmer for this side i was a little bit disappointed because i honestly couldn't get to the pigment of the shimmer it was so hardly pressed that i had to literally scrape off some of the shimmer to get it to look a little bit pigmented and then even then i wasn't super happy with it so i went in with the more icy shade and that one was much better so some of the shimmers are a little bit hit and miss for me but overall i think this collection is absolutely beautiful i think they're so affordable for such a luxe drugstore brand so based on my experience playing with them today i am going to recommend them i just think you need to look at the color stories and take in what i've said about the shimmer in that palette what one was it it was the hard rock palette that i used that shimmer and also this low lash line i think this is probably my least favorite palette out of all of them so this one is the more cool toned mattes and it just wasn't my favorite all the rest of them i really like and i honestly would reach for them again so it's definitely down to personal preference as always depending on what color stories you liked i probably would least recommend that hard rock palette out of all of them just because it wasn't the best and just didn't perform very well for me today the rest of them i love the mattes in them just wish there were more of them in the palettes so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button let me know down below what do you think of this collection i need to know your thoughts and opinions because obviously these are a little bit different for xx revolution they haven't really come out with these sort of palettes before they're very affordable but you know shimmer formula was a bit hit and miss for me so i'd love to know what you think down below and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye